I've never heard of it. None of us actually have until mom approached us and told us about it. Could not find it. Employees ended up coming out and we we're looking, so we're gonna leave. Guys, we've been searching up and down this guardrail now for about five minutes. Oh my God, about fail. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. my channel and welcome to another vlog so today is going to be so 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 exciting mom randomly popped into my room this morning and was like hey have you ever seen this before and I was like what kind of like iffy about it. it sounded kind of weird but now it sounds really fun so it's called geocaching I've never heard of it none of us actually have until mom approached us and told us about it it's apparently been going on now for like 20 years like have we all been living under a rock if you haven't heard about it, let me know down below so we're not like the only people in the world that's never heard of this app before. But we decided to download the app and we're gonna go on like a citywide scavenger hunt and we're gonna see how many of these little geocache spots we can find. I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're about to leave and head off and try to go find our first one. But before we get started, subscribe down below if you're new and also comment. Let me know if you've ever heard of this app before. Let's go. Okay, so we're in the car now. We're getting ready to go on our first geocache of the day. We have the app on mom's phone. Our first clue is this one right here. It's talking about spiders basically. So we have to go find it. It looks like it's near a pet store. So I'm guessing that's where the spider's coming to place. Oh, maybe so. I'm hoping though there's no real spiders found during this one because I am not up for spiders. Mm. But we're going to put it in our phone. The cool thing is you can navigate straight from the app and it like hooks up with your maps on your iPhone. So we're going to do that. And we are now off to go find our first one. So really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can find it. It's not too difficult. Okay guys, so we've made it to the back side of PetSmart and our little map says we are 17 feet from it. I don't really know where it's at. I'm thinking it's over here because I'm looking at the picture and it looks like it's in front of this dumpster thing. So we'll see if we can find it. Six feet, five feet. Over here by the wall. Nine feet, 15 feet. Okay, we're getting further. This is so confusing. One foot. It's right here. There's nothing here, hold on. Apparently it's in the spout right here. Behind it? That's what we're assuming. I'm not climbing up there. Riley, you have to stick your hand in there. Ew! I oh, you know it's probably in there? Glad this one wasn't mine. Has to be weird. Go ahead, Riley. Okay, go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Feel anything? Oh yeah, I just heard something. Nothing? Water. This little water spout up here. Right there, because why is there a spout? No, let me see if there's any other clues. Okay, so this one's a little more difficult than we thought. We had to actually go read some comments and no luck. still so cannot find it. Looking. I walked. Oh my gosh, that scared me to death. I walked back here. There are a few spouts, but there's a lot of wasps too, and there's nothing. We're feeling like it's this one, and people keep saying they've screamed when they went to find it. So I'm just like, is not, there gonna be a spider? I'm like, what's not. the deal? This looks odd to me though. See how that cord? Well guys, that one was a complete fail. Could not find it, employees ended up coming out. <laughs> And we're looking, so we're gonna leave. Where the coordinates led us to, there was nothing there. It's weird because someone just found it like maybe a week or two ago. So uh, I don't know where it's at. Maybe we'll find it again one day if we come back. But there was no hints really telling us where it was. People were just like cute container, all this other stuff, and I didn't see anything. So I guess we'll have to go find another one and we'll take you guys along and hopefully we can find this next one. Just chose a different geocache and the clue is it's an eye popper. My first instinct is Ulta. Oh, so I feel like that's where this one's gonna be, which will be actually really fun. And it looks like it's on the back side of the building. We'll let you know if we find it. It says the difficulty's a one, so. I think the last one wasn't difficult either then. We didn't see nothing. Oh, that's great. <laughs> this is not Ulta, Ulta's down there. We're at Kohl's. Hmm. Let's look at the coordinates and see if we're supposed to be at Kohl's or Ulta. Okay, so it's not at Ulta. We're actually at the back end of Kohl's and it's pointing over here. So we're hoping it's on the guardrail, not actually in the woods because no one's trying to get poison ivy. So we're thinking it's over here in this area. You wanna try that bolt that's not sticking up very well? The one on the bottom, nothing. How many feet are we from it? 50 
right now it says. Guys, we've been searching up and down this guardrail now for about five minutes. Oh my God, about fail. There's a hole here. Okay, let me get down. I'm too clumsy for this. Anyways, we've been searching this guardrail for quite some time. Have not found anything yet. We've made it to my favorite store, <laughs> Target. Oh, I, I want to go inside a store so bad, guys. Yeah, there's a, um... So, see, we found it. On oh. the back, we found it. There it is. Oh, spider. Oh, spider. Okay, so we've made it to our next geo cash spot. I've also said geo spot. I guess it could be a geo spot. My hair is naughty because it's windy outside. But I put on my raincoat. We did stop by the house because Dad and Aiden were just like ready to go home. Well, not more so Dad, but more so Aiden. He was just like, okay done with this so they're at home but we've now made it to our next spot and we get to go inside or to a garden we got any spot where we think it's at it's kind of eerie out here because the only person out here is like a cop and his wife eating so he's probably, what are they doing so he's probably confused because we were parked over there then we like sit for a while then we parked over here and yeah it's kind of probably suspicious looking but we're not doing anything bad we're just trying to find a prize so mom's got her gloves on because we're down dad which is the one that is brave and we'll go like right in bare hands and doesn't care if there's any spiders or bugs and we'll just grab the thing. I don't even know if I can do it with these on, but I feel like this makes me feel better. Does so hopefully a lot of these things are hidden and there's spiders. Bugs. We've seen a ton of spiders. Mm. Oh, I can't do it. So. so this actually be a good thing to do, like probably in like January, all the bugs aren't around, but then it'd be freezing. But it'd still be fun. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go. I'll show you guys. Hopefully you found it. Okay, I can already spot what I think. Oh, this is actually really cute. I've never been here before. Okay, if you guys see that little red and black thing right there, that's what we think we're going after. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking it's inside of it. Maybe around it? Oh, what about the bird box? Well, guys, it's official. We suck at this. We have been walking around this dang ladybug right here and haven't found anything. Either someone is taking these things or we're just not looking good enough. But we have like looked all around this little ladybug. This little bird thing. Okay, do you guys see the bucket around it? That was a little suspicious looking. So I was like, well, maybe it's under there. But there's a wasp mess in that thing. And every time I lifted that thing up, the whole birdhouse just like was shaking. I'm like, I'm not trying to break somebody, it. Somebody said it took a couple of minutes because it had been moved. But we found found it eventually rivet I'm right there I think we found it oh what is that we're gonna take something and leave something that is so cool okay so we found this we marked our name and we took a little prize and replaced our prize that we took with one that we brought so this one was found well guys our next geocache took us to good old wally world so apparently it's on this light pole somewhere where i don't know but it's on this one right here so right. take the dime Okay. <laughs> found one guys it was underneath this thing and it looked very suspicious so i was like okay I feel like that has to be something, and it was. Yay! So we've made it to the Circle K, and we're trying to find our next geocache. I feel like it's this thing right here. I don't know why. Okay, wait, maybe that's not it. Okay, mom's looking. We cannot find anything, guys. Where is it? Is that it? Oh, uh, this is more difficult than I thought. I swore it was this. Okay, the light is just gonna be really bright. But, did not find the geocache at this last stop. Could not find it. I don't know where it was. We looked high and low. Literally, mom got on top of the thing. I was like looking, couldn't find it there. So, I don't know where it's at. Maybe we'll come back and have to re-look for it. I'm probably like super bright. just doing but we found one since we found that one we were actually at target you can actually see the sign behind me that's where this um geocache was we're here for a target order we did not come all the way to target just to look for a geocache no we came for a target order which is not unusual i feel like i haven't vlogged a lot of our target orders lately i guess because we haven't really been to target much which is actually very shocking because if you guys have been watching my channel since this whole quarantine we've been going to target quite some time okay this has brought us to an apartment complex yeah, this one says hidden in the rocks. Okay, so apparently it's here. But guys, there are so many spiders. I'm freaking out. It says it's near the railing. Here's the railing. There's the entryway. So it has to be here. Just which one? 
And I'm scared to keep touching all these rocks because there's like big, big, big spiders. Well guys, looking through every rock, did not find it. And we're gonna be the first people to put up there that we could not find it. That was very, very hard. We literally went through all the rocks and was like moving them. There were spiders everywhere. I was freaking out, mom was freaking out. Like we moved as many rocks as we could. All of them felt like super heavy. So like, I don't know what the deal was, but maybe we'll come back here and refind it. But it was a dud this time, guys. Could not find it. But I think that's our last geo hunt for the day. Okay guys, so that is all for our geo caching adventures. It was so much fun. I guess just because it was kind of like a citywide scavenger hunt. Totally recommend you guys downloading the app and checking it out. If you have heard of this before and have geo cached or geo hunt before, let me know down below and let me know what is the craziest or best find that you have found. This was actually something that we saw on TikTok and I think it was a lot of fun. That's all for the video. Subscribe down below if you're new. Also leave me a comment and and make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow.